Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Pharmacy Lessons Made Easy. This is Dr. Kalpana and uh, today we shall study about the different types of flow of fluids and more specifically the pseudoplastic type of flow uh, as in our previous videos we have already covered about what are Newtonian liquids, what are non-Newtonian liquids and we further classified them as per time independent and time dependent non-Newtonian types of fluids. In the time independent non-Newtonian fluids we have already covered and discussed about plastic fluids. Let's today study about pseudoplastic fluids. So here is a rheogram which actually depicts the pseudoplastic flow pattern. So you can easily observe from here this particular curve is showing the pseudoplastic flow behavior. And in the case of pseudoplastic flow, typically it is observed by polymers which are present in solution form, whereas the plastic system consists of flocculated particles in the suspension. And many pharmaceutical products, including liquid dispersions of natural and synthetic gums, like tragacan, sodium alginate, methyl cellulose and sodium CMC, they exhibit pseudoplastic type of flow. And uh, as you are able to see this particular curve, rheogram on the right hand side, this is a typical behavior by a pseudoplastic material. It generally begins at the origin, which is the main difference from the plastic type of flow. It starts from the origin and uh, there is hence no such yield value which we were able to see in the case of the plastic system. And there is no part in this curve which is linear. You can see here the curvy nature. It is not like a linear curve, nothing like that. And if we talk about the viscosity, viscosity of the pseudoplastic substance it decreases with increase in rate of, rate of shear. If we are increasing the rate of shear, you can see the viscosity will be decreasing. And we can determine uh, an apparent viscosity at any rate of shear from this uh, slope of the tangent to the curve. Suppose at this particular point, I'm preparing a, a, or drawing a tangent so the slope of that tangent to the curve will actually give the value of viscosity. So the curved rheogram for this pseudoplastic material, it results from shearing action on uh, such long chain molecules of material like uh, linear polymers. So what happens is once we are increasing the shearing stress, Normally, the molecules which were disarranged, so they'll form a, a structure which is quite arranged and they'll try to align themselves as per their long axis. And this orientation will reduce the internal resistance to flow and hence greater rate of shear at each successive shearing stress. So, in addition, some of the solvent may also be released, uh, resulting in effective lowering of both concentration and size of the dispersed molecules. So the objective comparison between different pseudoplastic systems are more difficult than with either Newtonian or plastic system. Newtonian system are completely described by viscosity like uh, eta and the plastic system we have introduced with an, another term called yield value in that and the plastic viscosity U that we have calculated. So for different pseudoplastic materials, we can write the equation as F raised to power N is equal to eta prime into capital G. So if we take log value on both the sides, so this, this will become n log f 
is equal to log eta prime minus this should be on the top not here okay uh, minus or plus log g okay so if we take the value of log g if we want to determine so log g will be equal to n log f minus log eta prime so this is how uh, we can obtain an, a straight line equation also where many pseudoplastic system fits in this particular linear equation and uh, pseudoplastic system are generally first order segment that means they are following first order kinetics generally okay i think uh, you understood the concept well do click on the like button subscribe my channel and share it on social media thank you